so chat gpt is in the news right now and it is the only ai tool which can solve all your queries and questions right in a blink and definitely the chat gpt is one of the best ai tools you can get right now and in the future also the chat gpt will be implemented in most of the devices but what if i tell you that right here right now you can get the chat gpt directly on your samsung galaxy watch 4 yes it is possible and that means all the answers to your questions and queries you can get directly on this watch from your wrist and definitely this can change the way we used to interact with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 because the chat GPT will be always available on the smartwatch whenever we will be wearing this on our wrist so in this video definitely I am going to discuss that how we can get the chat gpt on the samsung galaxy watch 4 and also how to use it on the smartwatch and definitely it will be very very helpful if we get this feature on the samsung galaxy watch 4 so as always this will be a sick video guys and if you are a tech enthusiast don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so let's start and guys so first of all the samsung galaxy watch 4 is a great watch to have because it has a lot of features which are recently added and now you can use the chat gpt on this watch and by chat gpt using i mean that you can literally ask questions directly to chat gpt and also get the answers on this watch itself and everything will happen in this watch only you don't need to use your phone or any other device but you can do directly the things on this watch so first of all to do this you need to install a few apps to use the chat gpt in this watch so the first app which you need to install for this is the easy fire tools and this app is available on the play store so what this will do is this will let you install the third party apps on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and once you have done this you need to install the browser in which you will be using the chat GPT so you need to download the apk file of a browser and install it on this watch so the browser which I will recommend you to download is the Google Chrome apk and this apk you need to download first on your phone and to download this apk you need to visit one link i will leave the link in the description of this video and once you are there you need to download this google chrome apk on your phone so you need to click on here and you will see that the apk will be downloaded and once you get this pop-up you need to just click on download so once you have downloaded the google chrome apk you need to open the easy fire tools app and here you need to connect the watch with this app so to connect it to your easy fire tools you need to come to the settings of the watch and come to the developer options and here you will see that you have the option of adp debugging you need to turn on this option and also you have to turn on the option of wireless debugging and here you will get the IP address which need to be put on this app so under the easy fire tools you have to come to the settings option and here you need to put the same IP address which you have got here so firstly I need to put the IP address here and also I have to put the port and once I put the IP address you can see I have connected my watch with this app so I need to come to custom apk and select the google chrome apk and once I select that I need to install that apk on my watch so once I select the google chrome apk I need to click on install and this will be installed on the watch so once I have installed the google chrome apk you can see the google chrome will be there in this watch and once I open that you will see I have the option to open the websites up there so before going to the google chrome I need to do certain steps to make sure the chat gpt is working on this browser because this watch has a lot smaller screen and most of the websites doesn't work on this watch so once I come to Google Chrome you will see that I can open any website and I have opened the chat GPT website in this watch but the thing is as this watch comes with a screen which is really really small I will not be able to use the chat GPT in this watch even if I have the option to type something in there you will see that I don't have the send button and even if I tap on it it will be very very difficult to find the answers which chat gpt is showing in this watch 
So I need to find a different solution to this to make the chat GPT work really really well on this smartwatch. So to fix this I need to install another app. So the app which I need to install is Bug Jagger and once you have installed this app you need to configure some of the settings in this app also. So first of all I need to open the app and you will get this type of interface once you open the app. So what you need to do is you have to click on this sign and give the IP address which will be showing in the ADB debugging of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. So to get the IP address you will take and come to settings and come in developer options and once you are in the ADP debugging you can see the IP address which will be showing in here. So I have put the IP address and I will just click on this connect option. So I will wait for some time so that this app connects it with my smartwatch. So here you can see the app is now connected and definitely I can do some of the settings in here. So firstly after this app is getting installed and connected with my smartwatch I need to come to this option where I can give some commands to the smartwatch. So this is known as the interactive shell and I need to give some commands to decrease the dpi in this watch so that the chat gpt works fine on the samsung galaxy watch 4 and to decrease the density or dpi of the samsung galaxy watch 4 the command which needs to be given is wm density 200 so what it will do is it will decrease the density in this watch so that i can use the chat gpt properly on the samsung galaxy watch 4 so i need to click on display symbol and it will just take some time to decrease the density in the smartwatch so you need to wait for some time until you will see that the watch will vibrate and once the watch vibrates the icons in this watch will change its resolution and that means the screen density has been changed and definitely now if I go to chrome I will try to open the website and check whether ChatGPT is working now or not in this watch so I will open the chrome now and you can see the website will load again on this watch as the screen density has been changed so finally the website has been loaded and you can see that it is showing me the new chat option so I will just ask something to the chat GPT and see whether it is working or not. So I just typed in this words that what is Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 a really basic question and I will just click on this send sign. I just tapped on the send sign and it is showing me the answer on this words directly. So not only it is showing me the answers but I can see the total answers directly on this words whatever is written and by this it means the chat GPT is working really really well on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and you can use this on this watch and ask the chat GPT a variety of questions and definitely you will be getting all the answers directly on your smartwatch. So that's it guys I just wanted to show you how to use the chat GPT on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and it is really working well on this watch so that's it guys i hope you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this thank you guys have a great day thank you